All right, so today we're going to be looking at building Lua in Windows using Visual Studio 2017. So I'm here in the root of my drive. I'm going to build this as a 64-bit application. So I'm going to go into Program Files and create a new folder. I'm going to call it Lua. All right, and in here we're going to make a folder called Include. And that's where we're going to put all of the source for Lua. So one more step, just go to your start menu and search path. This should come up, click environment variables, click on path, edit that, and just click new. And we're gonna put that path that we just made. So you can browse. It's under C, program files, Lua. Okay. Now we need the actual source. So if you go to lua.org, you can click download and look for source code, get the version that you want, save that. And it's a tarball, so we're gonna to need to use PowerShell. So change directories to downloads. And we're gonna do tar xzf, and then lua, you can press tab and auto-complete it. And that should give us the code that we need. So now if I go into downloads, here's Lua 5.3, go into source, copy all of that, except for make file, which is the last one, copy that, and go back into your Lua folder and put all that in include. So paste, there we go. So now we're gonna make the Visual Studio project. So file new project, it's gonna be Visual C++ empty project, call it Lua. And now we need to add all those files into the project. So on source files, right click, click add existing item. We're gonna go into the root of our drive, program files, Lua. And include, we're gonna take all that and add it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna remove some of these. So you're gonna look for Lua C dot C, we're gonna remove that, and Lua dot C and remove that. All right, so now what we're gonna to wanna to do is change this from x86 to x64 and change this to release. And then go into, if you click on Lua here, right click, click properties, we're gonna change a couple of these settings. So in general, we're not going to output it as an EXE. We're going to, uh, we're going to output it as a dynamic library, a DLL. All right, and after that, we're going to want to define in preprocessor under C slash C++, we're going to want to add another preprocessor definition. So the one we're going to want to add is Lua, this is all caps, Lua build as DLL and put a semicolon there. And then we can press OK. And then all we have to do is go project or no build and then build solution. All right, so now you can see that it outputted it output lua.lib and lua.dll. Those are the ones that we're looking for. So if we Go into here and uh, open folder in File Explorer. It's all the way down here at the bottom, pretty much. You'll see under x64 and release. Oh, no, we need to actually go up one. So under x64 here and release here, we have lua.dll and lua.lib. So we're going to want to copy those two and then go back into the root of our drive and put those in the Lua folder. So if we go here and Lua, I'm gonna wanna put it in the, in the immediate folder, not in include. Okay, now we're going to actually build the interpreter and the compiler. First thing we're gonna wanna actually do is build the compiler because that's closest to what we're doing here. So under build or project and properties 
we're actually going to take out Lua build as DLL because we don't need that anymore. Press enter to apply. And then what we're also going to do is change the output type. So it's not going to be a DLL anymore. We're going to want to build an EXE. Apply that, press OK. And we're going to add one of those files that we took out back in. So add existing items, and we're going to look for luac.c. So add that back in. Rebuild the solution. All right. And that should have popped up back in the back in our files here. So if we go into x64 release, there's lua.exe. We're just going to rename that really quickly to luac.exe. Copy that. And we're going to put that in the root of our drive. All right. Now we're going to want to actually build the interpreter. So for this part, we're going to remove all of the files from here. All right, and we're going to add one item, so lua.c, this one here. Now we're going to do a lot of stuff to the project here. So right click on lua and click properties. We're going to build an ex executable, so we don't need to change that. What we're going to need to do is under c slash c++, additional include directory should be the first one. We're going to edit it going to want a new one and we're going to put in the include directory that we created earlier. All right. Next thing we're going to do is under linker on input, we're going to put lua.lib here with a semicolon. And then one last thing under general for linker, we're going to need to put in an additional library directory. So here we go, add another one. And this is going to be back under the root of our drive, Lua, just the Lua folder. So not include, but Lua. We'll select that. OK, OK. And now we should be able to build the solution. So rebuild it. All right, so you see output lua.exe. Let's take a look at it. Oops. You can see it's only 18 kilobytes. That's exactly what we want. It means it's using the dynamic libraries that we created earlier. It's not compiling the entire um, libraries statically. That way we can actually link additional libraries to this interpreter. So we're going to copy lua.exe and we're going to put it with all the rest of our files. So right here where we put luac.exe, just put lua.exe. And now you should have a compiler for Lua. So that'll compile Lua source code into Lua bytecode. We have lua.lib, lua.dll. These are what you will use to link additional libraries. And lua.exe is your interpreter. You can see here, we'll put some test code in here. And it works just like you'd expect. And it has the ability to load DLLs. All right, that's pretty much it.